have it or not, is engineer or chief, the Honorable Commissioner for Solid Mineral Development. Probably it was out, it's Honorable Mrs. Golda Chi, the Honorable Commissioner for Commerce and Industry. But for the local government, Barrister Elizabeth Obaga, the Honorable Commissioner for Culture and Tourism. Honorable Commissioner, can we start and anybody that is due to speak, you inform the person. Okay, yes, that's it. Can I just open this proceedings of the Honorable Commissioner for Justice and Attorney General? of Justice, are you rendering your own uh, um, speech or are you introducing us to a validatory section? leading us thus far. It is on record, Your Excellency, that since 2015 till date, this executive council didn't lose any soul. It is a thing of joy. <clears throat> Despite our shortcomings, God has been faithful to all of us. Your Excellency, let me in a special way appreciate you for considering us worthy to serve as members of your cabinet. Your Excellency, I must say that it was a rare honor and privilege you did it without considering whether that commissioner is from south or north or from central. All you did was to ensure that Ebony State develops, even surpass other states. Your Excellency, 
in the course of the discharge of our duties as members of the State Executive Council, specifically with respect to myself and the office which I occupy. I, even though joined halfway, but I took to your instructions, your guidelines, that I should go to my office and make sure that I revitalize that ministry. To the glory of God, Your Excellency, that ministry has performed courtesy of your church. I thank you for this enablement. The Ministry of Justice, as we all know, is a service ministry. We have, in the course of doing our constitutionally imposed duties, advised government accordingly, vetted and prepared documents, and above all, liaise with other ministries to ensure that the policy trust of this government were properly carried out. Your Excellency, on behalf of my own local government, which is easy local government area, I want to appreciate you very well for this honor you have done to me and to our local government area. Your Excellency, I must say that... I think I'm the timekeeper. 30 more seconds. <laughs> Thank you, Your Excellency. All we are wishing you, sir, is that the second term, the second term which will be kick-started tomorrow, will be more momentous than this your first term. The achievements you have recorded in the first term that is ending today, I believe you, I believe what you can do, you will surpass this first term in terms of achievements. Thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency. Thank you. Honorable Commissioners, let me, um, you know, ask us to loosen a bit. This is a moment uh, of, uh, you know, for us to review ourselves, you know, those things that uh, we found difficult, those jokes we cracked and so on and so forth. So it's more of an informal, though it's formal, but I uh, expect you to relax and take not more than two minutes so that others can speak. Can uh, is uh, Chris Uchaji here? Is he around? It's not. What of uh, Stanley Emma Okoruk, SA on Capital City? Two minutes. All other protocols duly and respectfully observed. I must honestly thank heaven for giving me the opportunity to work with a man that you must tread with his speed, a man that has focus and a passionate leader, a man that uh, you must be up and doing to meet with his speed. I am happy and very proud to be identified with the success story that is going on right in the country today as being seen as the neatest and the fast growing capital city in Nigeria. I thank God that I'm part of the success story. Thank you and God bless all of us. Thank you. <laughs> Commissioner for Power, Chief Moguro. Your Excellency, the Chairman of ESCO and Governor of Ebony State, Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor, all other protocols duly observed. 
Your Excellency, I'm delighted, highly delighted to stand before ESCO today to thank God that eventually a day like this has come. By the time we started on the 1st of July 2015, little did I know it was going to be as good as this at the end. And so, Your Excellency, on behalf of my ministry, myself, my family, and my local government, Abakaliki, I want to say I've gathered a lot of experiences working with the man Dave Omahe. The man Dave Omahe is focused, he's stern, he's a go getter. He never missed what he wants to achieve, and he does not believe in impossibilities. Wherever, whatever he wants, he gets along and gets it. I must confess, Your Excellency, that um, there were rough periods, especially with me, <laughs> About 2015, Your Excellency, I didn't know I was going to survive 2015-2016 because um, it was still a very tough learning process working with the man, Dave. And uh, we were giving excuses. Little did I know that uh, to work with the man, Dave, you don't give excuses. And uh, in ESCO, within the period, the entire ESCO on a particular date reprimanded me and the ministry seriously. It was a very hot day for me. And I asked myself, what will I do? And of course, through prayers and through Your Excellency's uh, bashes and pushing, I came up a bit to the extent that then, not long after then, I had my best day in ESCO. And uh, that was when, in 2016, 2017, during the award period, I was one of those that performed excellently well and was given an award. Because of Your Excellency, probably without the pushing, I wouldn't have gotten to a place where I earned an award. And so that was a very beautiful day for me. Your Excellency, I enjoyed this ESCO. And uh, definitely, I shall be missing few things, especially the friendliness, the love Your Excellency has introduced that has radiated among all of us. And so the way we sit here is something that uh, shall ever remain green to mind, the memory, my own memory in particular. And um, that we shall be missing. Time up. And so I thank Your Excellency and wish you and the next ESCO very beautiful outing. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Commissioner for Land, Professor A.K., after him, will be Commissioner for Agriculture. Your Excellency, the members of the school, I will spend one minute talking about the background of this terror that's ended today, and then about you and ourselves and our achievement. Your Excellency, I was not in the point through the last uh, government for the eight years. I didn't enter this government house for one day. And uh, November 2018, I was sleeping. When God woke me up, said, We are going home now, you have an assignment. I said, How? I called my wife, woke up, this is what I'm hearing. And when we came down here, the understandable, our boss, our leader said, Wait. The table is too hot. That was December. Go back and come back in January. He called me back in January. And we kicked off the campaign at Ibu. And at Ibu, when you were about to speak, the voice came again and said, Behold your next governor. You are not going back. You are going to work with him. I was shedding tears. Why should go be talking to me? So, sir. Has the voice <laughs> spoken again? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, I see. <laughs> when you were speaking, you know, the campaign I was recording, and at Ifu, you said I will rule with the fear of the Lord. At Ifu, you said the same thing. 
When you came to my local government, I came up the stage and told the brethren, look at the child of God coming up. Today I'm vindicated. Because two days ago, some of them that were skeptical got a, 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 a chip. And they, in fact, that education was the best of my time. And in education, you did something that's unique. Others have viewed the road, yes. Our roads are unique. Flyover are unique. But that school of evangelism, you are capturing the next generation. And the, the whole thing is working. Now, Your Excellency, about your personality. I came and I, initially it was not easy for me until I understood whom you are. I now show that you are a man slain by passion. You are not dead. You are not alive. You are dead to passion. And the, the, the truth is that you don't have enemy or friend. We need to produce results. That's all you need. And there's no click here. There's no click, no kitchen cabinet. Just do your work, produce the result. And when I understood that, I was flowing. And uh, I talk about your family. We are blessed because this kind of family, where so many of them are contributing, our national vice chairman is contributing, our lawyer, Roy, everybody. And you are not giving the professional treatment. They have to qualify for what they can get. And I see the compliment between you and the deputy governor. Most of the time, when things are difficult, we run to him. He will prepare us, we'll come out and produce the result. And this kind of situation are not easily come by in so many states. And uh, you showed us the new opposition. The way you related with the ruling power in the federal government is you showed us that uh, opposition is not all, it's not all about uh, castigation. And you blended well. At the point, they were thinking that uh, you were the campaign. But you proved them wrong. You are epitome of peace. Ezilo is a true case. We are thankful for Badawali. I don't know how you discovered him. I will pray whether he will still with us. So many things to talk about, Your Excellency. Hope. Even the project, I'm not talking about. I will. Thank you, Excellency. All I'm saying is that, uh, boy, final word I want to say is this, sir. Yesterday night I was thinking, why should this man be given to us? And I remember the, 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 the criminal deprivation. Under old and number and demo is what God is rewarding us to catch up with them. And we have been prepared for Nigeria. Thank God you. Me, Susan. Thank you. After Commissioner for Agriculture, Commissioner for Finance, and Commissioner for Budget. Your Excellencies, the elders of a bony state, gentlemen of the press. My colleagues, uh, Your Excellency, I, my experience is that in you we find a leader, a leader that has no boundaries at any time. You brought a point together, and everybody in the Ebony State believes that he's part of the government. Those things that the Ebonians we are looking for at that stage, started looking for Ebonians because most of us that went to Lagos, Abuja, without route to go to those places, met route while they were coming back. Uh, I don't want to go into many things because I have a very short time. We have some challenges because at this stage, some of us here met and was thinking, what of if this man that has the passion for work for his people? met Nigeria or met a point state when allocation was fat, what would have happened to us? And one says, God have always been with him. When you talk about the worst days for us, for me personally, was that day I was walked out of West school. <laughs> that day was hot. And what, what happened to, to you uh, in the house? When I went to her, my aunt was worried that this man is your friend. But I openly told Madame that the governor has no friend and he has no enemy. 